Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to be unboxing Google Glass. So I was able to pick up my Explorer edition of Google Glass earlier today, and now I'm going to unbox it with you guys. When I was actually at the Google campus though, I did go through and set up glass. However, I repackaged it and I'm going to unbox it here with you guys. So here's the box and also the two attachments that it comes with, which I'll go over later. It's just very simple. It simply says glass on the front and it just has XE on the bottom, which stands for Explorer Edition. So let's go ahead and lift the lid off of this box. And we're greeted with this semi-transparent piece of paper that I'm going to quickly peel off and underneath you will see the actual device itself. So yes, this is Google Glass, and on the sheet of cardboard that's behind it, it has the key hardware points of the device. So up here towards the top, or actually towards the back of the device, it says listen, and that's actually the equivalent of the speaker for glass. However, it's actually not a speaker. It uses bone conduction, transducer technology, so that way, in theory, the wearer will be the only one who will be able to hear what glass is actually saying when it dictates things back to you. And on the outside of glass, you have a touchpad. Further down, you have the capture button, which takes pictures, as well as 10 seconds of video that you can then extend indefinitely until it fills up about the 12 gigabytes of available storage it has on board. And then right here towards the front of the device, it says C, and this is actually the glass prism that kind of reflects the projection so the wearer can see it. It also has a five megapixel camera here in the front. So let's go ahead and take glass out of the box. And I'm going to show you guys the rest of the contents of the box once we go ahead and just lift it up here. So directly below, we have this really nice pouch, and it's actually hard towards the bottom here, and that's obviously to protect the fragile part of glass, and then the rest of it is just a microfiber case, and you can easily pull it tight if you so choose. It's kind of nice, and it will definitely come in handy when transporting glass. This right here is a little sheet that contains extra nose pieces for glass, so you can quickly interchange them if the ones supplied originally do not fit properly. Moving on, we have the micro USB to USB. USB charging cable and data transfer cable, as well as the US power brick. So you simply plug in the USB cable to this side of the power brick, and then you can plug this into your wall outlet, and that is how you charge glass. And then finally, we just have this little cardboard booklet that contains two quick setup sheets that can get you pointed in the right direction to set up glass. All right, so here is a closer look at glass. As you can see, when we touch the touchpad, it immediately lights up the display here, and you can quickly navigate through the display simply by swiping. And I'll actually make more videos that go more into depth on glass. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to give you guys an accurate demonstration of glass at the moment. I'm going to try and find a better way to do so in future videos but as you can see the display actually does work as well as the touchpad behind it and we have this which is called the battery pod and then on the other side of it we have this little thing that says glass it looks like a button it's actually not that was the technology that I was talking about earlier that directs vibrations directly into the wearer's skull so that they are essentially the only ones who can hear what glass is saying and then we have the power button which I spoke of earlier so here's glass it's very straightforward very simple and the key with glass is to get it positioned so that it's out of the wearer's field of sight so that they just have to glance up and then they can see what glass is actually displaying. All right and finally in this video let's take a look at the two different attachments it comes with. So I'm going to open up this one first because this is the one I've actually put on to glass. So underneath here we have this cardboard protective sheet and inside of that we have this microfiber case that protects the sunglass add-on for glass. And to install it, it's very simple. All you have to do is just start it like so, and then twist it, and it will instantly pop into place, and then you're good to go, and you have your sunglass attachment on glass. And now the same thing goes for this see-through attachment, and this is helpful if you're doing things like riding a bicycle, so that way it helps keep some of the wind out of your eyes. So let's go ahead and just open this up. Now this is actually the first time I've opened this attachment, so let's just go ahead and pull it out of this microfiber protective case and as you can see it's very similar to the sunglass attachment all right and that's it for this video i hope you guys liked my unboxing and first look at google glass there will be more coverage in the future to come on google glass just be sure to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section if you want a chance to enter into my 100 dollars or 50 dollars amazon gift card giveaway again once you rate it up and leave a relevant comment you'll automatically gain an entry and to be updated more often, such as when I post new videos on Google Glass, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.